There was a moment in Israel's history when one soldier, Jonathan, the son of Saul, the dear friend of David, and his armor bearer, which is basically an equipment manager, the two of them stood in front of an entire Philistine army. And Jonathan turned to his servant, and he, in so many words, he said, I think we can take him. And he threw out this fleece. They said, if they invite us to come up there, to come up the hill to where they are, we know the Lord has given them into the hand of the army of Israel. Now, this is, this is a bizarre moment because Jonathan thinks he is the army of Israel. He's the only soldier in the team. Are you getting the picture? We got an equipment manager, we got one soldier, and he thinks if they invite us to come up, that's a sign from God that he has given them into our hands. What's the problem with this picture? They have to crawl on their hands and knees to an army that's waiting for them. That's not your best military move. But he took it as a sign. They illustrated such extraordinary courage that the story of this one simple victory, actually what happened, they crawled hands and knees. When they got up to where they were facing the army, the army all fell. They literally just fell. And Jonathan didn't even have time to get his sword because his armor bearer was so happy, he just killed them all. He forgot to give Jonathan the sword. He's the soldier. It's just a funny story. I'm not making this up. This is actually in the owner's manual. <laughs> Wipes out this story. The rumor, not the rumor, the report of this victory spread like wildfire through Israel's camp and through the Philistine camp until the earth shook under the influence of this supernatural courage. The earth began to mirror what was happening in hearts because they realized that God was doing something through people. Your courage draws people out of complacency into their destiny. Your courage, the very act of courage, prophesies to people that you can't see because they're hiding, but it prophesies to them and it calls them out of complacency. Calls some of them are literally on the front lines of battle for the other side. And according to the story in here, they have the army uniform of the Philistines on, but they're actually Jews, and they're hiding. They're fighting for the wrong side. And when they hear the report of this supernatural courage, they rip off the Philistine garb, and they run to join their family because they heard a report of supernatural courage. When David displayed the supernatural courage, his brothers got jealous and angry at him. I'm just, I'm just telling you, your courage will mess some people up. But others, it will call to their destiny. And it's just worth it. We study the scriptures so that our heart connects to the God who does wonders. And he still does wonders. Why don't you stand?